Hello, this is James Roney with freemagneticenergy.info and youtube.com forward slash freemagneticenergy2. That's number two. Um, while I'm waiting on parts to come in, I made an interesting, astute observation this evening that I wanted to share with you, for those of you who might very well be putting something like this together already. Um, I... Um, did a new configuration on my rotor magnets here. These are the one inch square by one inch square quarter inch Neo in 42s with round quarter inch one inch uh, in 42 magnets stacked on top of the square ones. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each one of these is approximately a third of an inch spacing in between. Now, when you put magnets this close, with like polarities pushing up against each other here. These magnets are hard as can be to get this close. They don't want to stay there. So you have to get some electrical tape and tape these down. Otherwise, they'll twist and flip around, sometimes try to jump to the back, or these magnets will climb on top of the others and all the hell that's loose. So... But what I want to show you, though, is that when they're configured like this, the thrust or the takeoff speed is just astounding. Because, as you know, by the current laws of physics, which are based upon our current observations of Mother Nature, or is the foundation to our is the foundation to our current laws of physics. So, based upon that, for the attraction with magnets, there's an equal and opposite attraction. One cancels out the other, thereby there should never, ever be any net gain. So, if that's the case, this is what should happen. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. It'll start here, and then in there. See how it goes back and forth. One cancels out the other. Okay? Now... The principle behind my thinking was, when I designed all of this, is that but what if we could get the speed to get up in such a way that by the time it got to the last magnet here, the inertia or speed would be so great that the counter supposed equal attraction would not be great enough to cancel out all of these, the sum of all of these added up together leapfrogging from one to the other because it does gain speed each magnet gets a little faster a little faster a little faster and by the time it gets to the last magnet here it's moving along a pretty good little clip and it's moving along so quick the counter traction over here is just not strong enough yes it loses quite a bit of the speed but it doesn't lose all of it and that's the key it's not an equal opposite attraction if it was equal then what you're seeing here would not happen. So let me show you here what's really cool here about this configuration I have. What I'm going to do here for argument six, I'm just going to start it about one spoke away from the stator. Okay, I'm just going to raise my hand up real quick and watch how quickly this accelerates and just takes off. Now here we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And look, it's still going. Okay, it's going to stop right about there. The friction is really great because I have a bush in here. It's too tight, and I think this needs to be loosened, but I have to keep this tight. So there are things in here, because this is just a bicycle wheel. There's other things in here I think have gotten too tight. Anyway, there's a nut on the inside, and there are nuts on the outside, if you know anything about bicycles. Okay, so... Um, let's see here. I'm going to do this here one more time here. This time I'm going to count spokes. Okay, so that's right there. It's about exactly one spoke away. See there? Okay, so the measurement is about one spoke. Okay, I'm just going to take my hand off. Okay, and you see it lost quite a bit of speed, but it gained more than enough to get all the way out of there. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, so basically it's nine to one ratio. Um, that's a pretty good amount of net gain instead of one to one because it, we sh 
should not have gained all that speed. I mean, all that distance. Look how far it traveled away from the stator. By our current laws of physics, they shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so let me set this. Oh, this time, let me give it a little bit of speed because it's not supposed to work from a dead stop anyway if it's going to turn into a, uh, a magnet motor. So let me just give it a little bit of speed and watch how well it takes off. Man, look at that. It just really just flies. Okay, it's not going to make it all the way around. i got to push it. It's just too much friction. Okay, let's do this over here one last time. Actually, we'll do it two different ways. We'll do it one last time this way. Man. Okay, now I'm going to just put the camera real close so you get a sense of speed. Let me set this up again. Okay, here we go. I'll give it just a gentle little push, and here we go. Bam! Look at that just take off. That's not supposed to happen by our current laws of physics. Okay. Well, anyway, this is James Ronnie with Free Magnetic Energy, info and, and YouTube.com forward slash Free Magnetic Energy 2. And more importantly, please, you're welcome to repost this anywhere and everywhere as long as you don't do it for monetary or financial gain. Yeah, 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 I know. And you've heard all this before. As long as you don't make any uh, financial gain directly or indirectly. Uh, all intellectual rights are reserved. And this is James Roney with Free Magnetic Energy uh, signing out. And again, thank you for your continued interest. Take care.